Hey, how's it going my super friends? I am Emo Acebo. Thanks for watching the video. Really quick man, I've been binge watching Stranger Things Season 2, which is pretty cool. Been going on really nice, good flow. I'm gonna make a review of the whole season, probably with my friend The Geek Keenan. If you haven't checked him out, go check out his YouTube channel, his social media. Keenan, he's a really cool guy. So yeah, I took a break out of watching Stranger Things to come and record this video because Shazam is now cast. We got our Shazam and Zachary Levi. This guy, yeah. There's a lot of things I want to say about Zachary Levi and Shazam and the DCEU, so I just decided to put it in two parts. The pros and the cons of Levi, or Zack, as the Billy Batson, or not, not Billy Batson, but, <laughs> but Shazam. So let me start with my biggest concern, which is the face, the actor himself. I discovered Zack like a lot of people did with Chuck. The kinda dumb but really good spy. He played an awesome Chuck in that series, he led the series, he was a protagonist and he's an amazing actor. I really like his abilities as an actor, he knows, he knows his stuff, he knows his work, he knows how to do this. And that was a comedy. Comedy is not that easy so you have to have an instinct, you have to be natural and know how to do your stuff with comedy. And he did a great job. So I kinda liked him in Chuck but that sticked with me. I see Zack as Chuck now. So there's no way I can take him seriously as the Earth's mightiest mortal now. All I see is Chuck. So um, it's a little bit weird for me processing that he's Shazam. Of course, the obvious negative for a lot of people will be the physicality. You see Dwayne Johnson who's gonna be Black Adam. He has been cast for like 18,000 years already. We know he's gonna be Black Adam. And we know how he looks, right? He's a really buff, big ass dude. And you got Zack Levi. Zack Levi is gonna be Shazam and fight this big ass Black Adam. Now it is a negative for me because I have a, a physique I want to see Shazam in. But hey, that negative can be remedied really fast. All you gotta do is get Zack Levi a personal chef that can cook all his all his meals. Get the protein, the carbs, the fat out of it. Just get it to Zack so he can eat it. Quick. Get him a personal trainer, like Charles Glass, the famous personal trainer in uh, Hollywood or like Gold's Gym, whatever. Really buff man and he knows his stuff. Get him a trainer. Those two things and all you need now is supplements. Get him maybe, I mean, we all know people in Hollywood do this. They probably use steroids. I'm not saying that he should use steroids, I'm just saying that there are supplements that he can use to become the, to get the physique, the mightiest physique he can. So that negative can be crossed out pretty quickly. In the positives, I really think he can play the kid in, an, in a man's body. He has the charm, the charisma, that boyish personality. I think he can play that part well in the acting realm. He is a good actor, like I said. So I don't think acting wise, he will let me down. I think he's got that one. And this has nothing to do with acting and being Shazam, but the guy is great, it's a great, he's a great person. He has a charity, he runs charities, he has Nerd HQ and stuff like that. So I really like him, I really like Zack, the guy. Not the actor, but the actor, the actor, okay, yeah, too, him too. But he's a great, cool guy. I like someone like that to be behind a character I love, and I love to read and watch. I hope he does a good job, but hey, that's pretty much it. Pretty quick pros and cons. I want to know what you think of Zack Levi as uh, Shazam, the Earth's Mightiest Mortal. Please tell me in the comments down below your thoughts on the casting. Did you like it? Did you not? Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to see more. Follow me on my Instagram, on my Twitter, Memo Sebo, and of course, I'll see you on the next one.